you know. Just because you know doesn't mean you know. You know? Uh. What? What the fuck? The camper that wrote this. See, y'all, this. Me taking a break and sobering up a little bit. <laughs> I had a good time, but I had to I had to get back because I wasn't reading all the the notes and stuff. The cap the camper that wrote this must have a change of heart and decided not to send this letter home. Ghost stories are only stories after all. The letter matches the drawing in the pool house, but why was it torn up? Maybe there is something to this ghost story. So uh why didn't you come? Where have you been for the past two months? We did come. One night early. That was our mistake. Chapter 7, y'all. We back. <laughs> and I'm upset. Who was... They... they sh okay, this is Laura. Goddamn, uh, Sheriff, lock this up. Done to Max. Shut up. You can't just shut up. This is an interrogation. I ask, you answer. <clears throat> Name. Laura Kearney. Who are you traveling with? And what is your relationship? Max Brindley, he's my boyfriend. Where were you headed last night? To Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp. You already know this. What have you done with Max? No. I ask, you answer. That's how this works. Why is he the only officer here? Fine. What do you want to know? There we go. Oh. Well. Ah. Uh, why are we going to Hackett's Quarry last night? Max and I are camp counselors. Oh, bullshit. Counselors aren't due until today. I told you, we drove up and got there early. We figured we'd just go to camp. Why didn't you go to the motel like I told you? Because we were, like, way closer to the camp, and we're broke. Hmm. Okay, Sheriff. Hackett? Wait, Hackett? Like, Chris Hackett? Don't change the subject. What the fuck is going on here, man? You have no idea what's going on here. 
Okay, we'll Not explain a goddamn it. goddamn clue. You just stepped in some grade A double prime, go ahead and kill yourself cosmic type shit, young lady. And your only option is to buckle the fuck up and do what I say. Do you understand? Please. Please just stop trying to intimidate me and tell me what the fuck is going on. Right. Is, is Max alive? I feel like I'm going crazy. What? Let's go. Damn, man, come on and tell us the story. Hey. He is a werewolf, bro. Hey, you, asshole. You wanna tell us what the fuck's going on? Max! I know you hear me. Yeah. He ain't. I mean, I'm... I'm kind of all mixed up, but... More or less intact, I think. Laura? Yeah? Why am I naked? What? I mean, after we got attacked... The next thing I know, I'm waking up in a jail cell, and you're gone, and now you're back again, and, and, and I'm super naked, and there's blood, and stuff everywhere I mean what the fuck happened I was kind of hoping you could tell me what happened I feel like I remember bits and pieces but none of it makes any sense yeah same I, I feel like were we drugged I feel like maybe we were drugged by a cop do they do that no who does this guy think he is? Bro. Sheriff of North Kill, apparently. North Kill? Yeah. Max! What? Did you even look at the map? Hackett's Quarry in North Kill. That's the town. Oh. And it gets better. I gotta look at his name badge and... Get dressed. What's he giving you? I'm not gonna be the guest of honor at Fashion Week, I'll tell you that much. Hey! Did I say you could talk to each other? Sorry, sir. We'll be quiet. We will? Max? Hey, what'd you do with my real girlfriend? What you right, buddy. Hands through the bars. Come on. I ain't about to give him Your shit. Train. I think he... Let's go. I'm not going anywhere. We can talk right here. Come on. Hey. Hey. Let's get go. the fuck off. Come on. Move. Good boy. Hey! Stop struggling! Max, calm down. You're only making it worse. Laura. What the hell did you do to her? Shut up.
Nora, I think. There's gotta be something in here you can use. Use for what? We need answers, man. I need answers. While the town of North Kill lay there sleeping, the hag in the woods started weeping. As the bodies decay, the wolves hunt their prey, and the sheriff continues his creeping. Chapter 7, Laura Sale. This doesn't paint a particular favorable picture of Sheriff Hackett, and perhaps this isn't the first time he's locked someone up illegally. I mean, we can figure a way to get up out of here if we have to, but I'm trying to get some answers. I think I'm putting the pieces together. These niggas are werewolves. You get bit, you turn into one. I don't know if you get scratched, you turn into one, but you, you revert back. You don't stay that creature. So you're a werewolf. What the fuck? Uh, what's this? What's this? Not a chance. I need some sort of lever. <laughs> Excuse me. So... A lot of bullshit was going on in the last in the in the in the, in the last <laughs> chapter. But um oh, yeah, this ought to do it. I'm still mad about that, man. RIP Abby, man. It, man, I bruise easily. Give me a break. Hey, the second we get out of here, you're toast, motherfucker. Sure. Second you get out. We'll answer your questions. Fearful, aggressive. Man, I ain't mean. Why wait, would you say that? Well, answer your questions. You just can't lock us up in here with no goddamn explanation and expect us to be all butter and cupcakes, okay? Just work with us here. You have nothing to bargain with. Come on. Come on. <laughs> hey, you can't just leave us in here. Hey! The fuck is going Come back! on, bro? Why Fuck! He ain't telling us nothing. Binky bonky. A binky bonk. How'd it go in there? You sing like a canary? Nothing to sing about. I'm sure you've got plenty to confess. <laughs> well, that may be true, but... I don't think he's too interested in how I cheated off Mikey Washington in 8th grade chem. Really though? What happened? He uh... He just asked a lot of questions. A lot of weirdly specific questions about us and... where we were going and why and how I was feeling this morning and... I don't know. Nothing I said made him seem any less annoyed. He asked how you were feeling? Yeah. Why, well, he didn't ask you? No. Huh. 
Rude. Oh, hey, did you get a look at his name badge? You mean it's not really Detective Dick Whippet? It's Hackett. Sheriff Hackett. You think he's related to Chris Hackett? Oh my god, like THE Chris Hackett? Yeah. Who's THE Chris Hackett? As in camp leader Mr. Hackett of Hackett's Quarry, remember? I thought Dewey was Last Chris Hackett. Last night feels like a lifetime ago. The fuck does that mean, though? You know? Were we set up? Maybe it's some kind of crazy camp counselor kidnapping ring. That's... I mean... What? Well, I guess Sheriff Hackett's not exactly acting like a typical kidnapper, but he's not acting like a typical cop either. Well, how do you know how kidnappers act? I'm just trying to get us out of here, and I can't get us out of here until I have some clue of why the fuck we're in here. I don't know. What if we can't make sense of it? What? Well, you have to. Sometimes things just don't make sense. What then? We're just stuck in a backwater jail cell for the rest of our lives? This isn't forever, Max. You can't just hold us here forever. You didn't seem too convinced of that. You gotta stay positive. You can't think like that. Why not? Might as well just accept it, right? Damn, no, nigga. fuck that! You only been in this bitch for about... <laughs> think about the rest of the summer, Max. About oh, five hours? In school? I mean, I've been dreaming about becoming a vet since I was five years old. I'm not gonna let this fleabag fuckface stop me. We're gonna get out of here. I'm gonna study to be a vet, and you're... gonna... Um... What? I'm gonna what? I saw the letter, Max. What are you talking about? The rejection letter for college. I found it in your bag. Why are you bring that up? You were poking around in my stuff? I can't believe you didn't tell me. I... I was embarrassed. Wait... Your grades were good and you wrote a great essay? Yeah, apparently not good enough. Fuck! You've been making plans, Max! What the fuck? I don't know. What do you want me to say? I'm sorry, Max. This... This really sucks. Hey, it's not the worst thing to happen this summer. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have kept it from you. You know you can talk to me about anything, right? Yeah. Yeah, I do. Okay, let's just focus on getting out of here for now. Great. Sign me up. We need to go over it from the beginning. Like from when we left home? Like from when we ran into the cop. So after we ran into the... Whatever we ran into? Yeah. Actually... Yeah, that's when shit started getting weird. Do you think it was a good idea to have lied to him? About hitting a pothole? Yeah. I don't know. I think he probably knew we were lying. He was acting really strange. What if he's not even a real cop? Well, he's gotta be dirty, but... I mean, I think he's a real cop. We're in a police station. Laura I mean, yeah, but there's like... Y'all, I'm gonna say it right nobody now. Nobody else around. 
Okay. Yeah, that is concerning. Especially the whole hack and hack it thing. She's still pretty though. Let's just go with the idea that they're both in on it. Okay. So we're supposed to meet Chris Hackett at the camp, and instead, there's nobody there, and we get attacked by something, and then the cop shows up. That part's all fuzzy for me. Like, I remember the steps and a smell like wet fur and a, a dog collar with the name Ian on it. Ian? Ian. I don't think it was a dog that attacked us. Whatever it was, was big. Like, person-sized big. Yeah, it really did a number on you. Like, I'm surprised you're not more messed up. Like, like, like I vividly remember the thing's teeth ripping into you. What is messed up about that is... Laura, I don't have a scratch on me. What? Hey, okay, so weird question. Do you remember... before we got lost? You got lost? Well, yeah, but before that, I was all like, whoa, look at the moon. It's so big, so cool to see a full moon in the middle of the woods. And you were all like, yeah, no shit, Max, it happens once a month. Yeah, so? Right, so, you know, full moon. Yeah. There we go. What if, uh... Okay, no. Stop. I'm just saying, you know, maybe there's a slight chance it was a werewolf. Mm. Are you out of your goddamn mind? <sighs> Werewolves? Seriously? What the fuck? What you laughing for? What? 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 What's so funny? I said literally the exact same thing. Right. Okay. Do you, you got anything better? I mean, like zombies, nigga, did you aliens. Did this nigga just not see? Fucking Nick, fucking burst and turn into something, and, and a fucking creature came out and just don't you see your your homegirl on the floor with her head decapitated? Nigga, are you serious? Hold on, let me check this shit real quick. This nigga dumb. What is this clue, yo? I think I missed something, dog. Oh, here it go. Among the misforgotten belongings is a scribble drawing of a woman in the woods. Those ghost stories seem to really left a mark. The drawing matches a letter found at the fire pit. Kids have the scariest imaginations. Which one is this? Laura was sympathetic to Max's rejection letter. Okay, yeah, okay, okay. Okay, but... Time hopping Draculas? Ryan, shut the fuck Ryan, up. Ryan, right? Yeah? You want answers? I've got answers. Interrupt me again, you're on your own. <laughs> Whatever. Would it really be so crazy? With all the shit that we've been seeing with Nick? With the thing on the roof? Okay, it would really start to explain a lot of stuff. Dylan. I'm just trying We're to Caitlin keep an open it. mind, okay? This is like your ghost stories. How is this so different from your ghost those, stories? Those are those are just campfire stories. Like, there has to be a rational explanation for everything, for all of this. Nigga, are you serious? There's more to all this than you think. They gonna show it? Show her eye. Just let me finish, and you can decide for yourself if you believe me or not. I don't care. But I think you should hear all of it. She like uh, the Lloyd Strode, the uh, Sydney Prescott. She's the, the one next that few weeks survived. Were long. Few the weeks. Kept us fed and let us take showers, but aside from that, we barely saw him. Max and I, we talked a lot, as much as we could, about what happened that night. It was like trading conspiracy theories. We talked about the cop, the camp, the accident, the woods, the thing in the basement, what happened to Max. We just kept going over it all again and again, and nothing was making sense. All we knew is that we needed to get out of there.
I can't take this anymore. It's not that bad. They're probably in the same crap at camp. No, I can't take being in here anymore. Oh. Yeah, well, that part's pretty tough. We've got to do something. We've got to get out of here. We need a, p a plan. We well, keep saying that, but it's been weeks, so, you know, let me know if you have one. That's really not very helpful, Max. You are forgetting something. What? Just the ETBT tiny detail that I may or may not be a fucking werewolf, you Laura. Just so what? What can we do, really? We run off into the sunset only to be stopped when I turn into a nasty-ass monster and kill you and eat you, and then I run off alone into the sunset with little bits of you stuck in my teeth? Okay, okay, stop. <laughs> Just one problem at a time. Very descriptive. Okay, we don't even know if that's what's really going on, and we won't until we get the hell out of here. Okay. Well, it seems to me that we only have two real options. We can play nice and try to get this guy on our side. What, so he'll let us go? Or... We try to catch him off guard and make our escape. What if we can get on his good side? Okay, so let's say we get on his good side. What then? Brunch in mimosas every Sunday till he sees the error of his ways? Yeah, I was being rhetorical. The dude doesn't have a good side to get on. I mean, he don't even talk to us half the time. I don't know, I think we could crack him. Laura, I think he's just biding his time until he can figure out a way to get rid of us. Permanently. <sighs> You're right. Escape's the only way. Hey, what's he gonna do to us that's any worse if we get caught, right? Let's just not get caught deal yeah deal okay here's how it's gonna go down next time he opens your cell to take you to get washed up you jump him you tackle him down and take the keys from his belt drag him into your cell lock him in there unlock my cell and then we'll steal his car and just drive right the fuck out of dodge right okay that's not really a plan though you know, that's just kind of saying, let's escape, but with a whole lot more words. No, he won't be expecting it. We're in a routine now. We'll catch him in the back foot. This... This is tough right here. Really? Careful. Ah, ah, ah. Really? Oh, fuck. Genius. But what about my shower? Damn, me a nigga been Shh. probably taking dumps. I said, take your fucking clothes off. Fuck off! Get back! Max, what's going on? <laughs> Get the fuck away from him! The hell is going on? Come here. Get off of me! Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> Have a seat. He sound like Mo from Three Sooges. Ah! Quit squirming. Said you want to be a vet, right? Call us an internship. Let me go! You're not gonna believe it until you see it for yourself. Just fucking ask next time then, dude. Jeez. Don't get too close. T, come in. What's your position? Over. T. Mm-hmm. Just wrapping things up here. Down to 20. Over. What's gonna happen? 
Well, I'll tell you, it's not going to be pretty. But don't worry, I'll be back at dawn. You're really going to leave me here? You'll be fine. Just don't get too close. He's turning. We 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 gonna get to that part. Why they just can't? Why he just couldn't just tell us? What dumbass? Why you gotta handcuff me to the rail and shit? Shit don't make no sense. Max, tell me exactly what you're feeling. Laura, I, I don't feel so good. Not good, like how? I don't know, just... Bad. Come closer, let me see your eyes. I think I better stay back. Max, I need to observe you. Is this fucking close enough for you, bitch? That's how Nick was talking crazy, bro. Max? I should have shot him in his face. Oh, ass. Max? Hey, what's going on? I hate doing this shit, but damn! Look at this shit! Oh my god! <laughs> uh, 2K has been talking on Twitter about how, because I've been getting copyright claim for some of these songs, and I got it on streamer mode. But they said that 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 you just had to turn the music off. So I guess I'll turn it. I'll just turn it off later. This is bullshit, though. I'm gonna keep on talking over this shit. So much for depth perception. Right. Uh, damn, dog. That nigga split her shit. Let's see what that bastard cop's hiding. Ooh. Can we go over there? Ooh! Oh my god! Okay. <laughs> I ain't no... That camera ain't threw me off. Alright, alright, alright. All right. Walking over there no more. <laughs> that shit scared the fuck out of me, dude. Uh, okay, we did the little surgery, sat in the cell. Uh, 
Don't nobody work here, bro. It's just him. What type of bullshit is that? What's this? What's he hiding? Wait, what? Maybe go upstairs. Oh, it's the door. Let's go upstairs first, cause it seemed like it's. Man, that shit crazy. Fuck. I'm gonna need to rest soon. Get the hell out of here. <laughs> Mama's boy. Fifty six. That means he was born in nineteen sixty five. It's crazy that, uh, that transformation is crazy. I think I've seen something like that, uh, Y'all remember in like, um, it wasn't an, ex was it an explosion? No, it wasn't an explosion. It was like more of a, um, a ripping off of the skin. I think that was in like, um, Van Helsing, uh, uh Van Hel Bell Helsing with, uh, Hugh Jackman. He started ripping off his, uh, f flesh when he was turning and shit. That shit crazy. He might be. Whoever was wearing this can't be doing too well. Look at that. This old sheriff's badge is badly fire damaged. Does it belong to current sheriff or one of his predecessors? <laughs> Don't turn me around. There's more shit to look forward to. Nothing else in here. Ain't nothing. Okay. Dog, is it, no one in here? This is a like empty ass police department. Like I think everybody probably whatever this town is called is fucking dead. Full moon. This is 2021. Wow. July 7th. I need to lie down. Okay, well, give me a second, man. Talking about you need to lie down and shit. We not done looking around. straight on this shit. Locked. Figures. But I guess I can't leave Max. Better keep snooping, or I could go back to my cell and wait, I guess. There's more shit to look forward to. What's in here? What's in here? This game kind of tell you try to. It's a right. There's a radio. Hello. Have to be bitten to turn or do you can you get scratched because she's got scratched and she ain't turned 
Not so much a hint as a slap in the face. Also, I'm kind of glad I went upstairs first. Fuck yeah. Hey, you heard of... You heard of this shit going on? hikers at all but ghost hunters who went in search of oh no i'm sorry uh an episode of supernatural investigation podcast bizarre yet bonafide it's one of the mysteries around the hag of hackett's quarry answers and fell victim to the mercy of the hag of hackett's quarry never to be seen again like us except for the fell victim to the mercy of the blah, 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 blah part we're we're more like um ghost investigators Spectre sleuths? Sure. So, what happened next? Well, according to reports from the local paper, the North of Kill Gazette, some hay bales caught fire during the opening night, and that spread pretty quickly. Before they knew it, the whole place was up in smoke, including the show's leading lady and her alleged baby. What is going on? And why is I have exhausted this and myself. I need to sleep. Why, uh... Anne Radcliffe and Edward Benson. Wonder who they are. Missing cats, missing dogs. Is she? No. If she's not healed. Okay, so it. What's in here? Okay, yeah, this is locked. Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. Oh, there the exit, right? I'm straight. While the town of North Hills lay sleeping, the hag in the woods started weeping as the bodies decayed, the wolves hunting their prey, and the sheriff continues creeping. I guess what are we doing? Are we waiting on him to come back? Man, that shit is crazy that he in that cell tripping like that, dog. Uh, Tell me what happened. I could ask you the same thing. Why didn't you run? I won't leave Max. This doesn't mean I trust you. I don't care. I just want to help him. Turn around, hands against the wall. Travis admires your dedication. I am too tired to argue. But Ugh. me too. Big dog. Happy?
brew some coffee. Why you locking the cell, nigga? Fuck. What's this? An education. Watch. Nice job cleaning up. The eye. I mean. It's harder than they make out in the textbooks. Especially when nobody's helping you. You're the doctor. Uh, animal doctor. And no, I'm not. And I probably never will be. I'm stuck in here forever. You know, just because you know, doesn't mean you know. You know? Uh. What? what? The fuck? I'm not. This isn't what it seems to be. You're gonna have to be more specific. You and Max are in just as much trouble as I am. My family? We didn't mean to hurt anybody. We're just trying to survive like everybody else. Do you understand? Not really. Yeah, stop talking in circles, nigga. Damn. We're gonna end this thing once and for all. We? Yeah. So, how is your family involved? My family... ...is down at the bottom of a well. What? <laughs> family is the most important thing in the world. But if your whole family, you know, like every last one of them decided to jump down the bottom of a well and they're all just hanging on the end of a rope, how can one person be expected to pull them all back out? You can't. If you pull on that rope, and you're just gonna fall right down to the bottom of the well with the rest of them. And what's the point of that? Right, so you... You're the one at the top of the well with a rope, and... Yes. I thought that was obvious. Yeah, nigga, okay, yeah, I got Nigga, it. you speaking nursery rhymes right Forget now. It. Nigga, we don't know what the fuck you talking about. End of a well, bottom of a well, I'm jumping ropes, I'm jumping on family trees. Nigga, get to the point. What the fuck is you talking about? Let's see how smart you really are. What is this? Information. Well, what does it mean? Read it. When full the moon above shines first, the beast internal shall outward burst. Oh. One by one leads lambs to slaughter. It stalks your breath, but shuns clear water. And should you yourself be cursed, armed with silver, and the first, when moon is full before its wane, rend the beast that cursed you slain. No longer shall you face your blight, or fear the dread of full moon's light. Yeah. Keep reading. I'm not taking no gun. What the fuck would I take it for?
And if it's a bite with which you're faced, cleave limb from torso with great haste. Perchance you'll save your cursed soul before infection takes its toll. Starting to get the picture. It's not a lot to go on. And frankly, it's shit. Why did they have to make it rhyme? <laughs> right. I don't know. But it's all we have to go on. Kill the werewolf that bit you and you'll be cured. It has to be silver, it has to be full moon. Seems pretty straightforward to me. If you can kill the werewolf, and that's a big if. I just want to cure Max. It's not as straightforward as you think. Confused. So wait, if Max got me in the eye, doesn't that mean I'm infected now too? No. Scratches don't do it. Only bites. Are you sure about that? Pretty sure. So what's the plan? Well, that's where I'm hoping you'll come in. Me? Yeah. Cause your studies. I haven't even started. Well, you're the best option I got. I've been hunting this damn white wolf under the full moon so long I start to think it doesn't exist, you know? Maybe it doesn't matter because maybe there's another way. Whatever you believe, there's gotta be some science. And you do science. Take some time to think about all this. I'll be back in the morning. Seen enough? Is he a werewolf too? I don't think I'd believe a word he just no, said if I hadn't. Not. If I hadn't seen that. I believe him. You can't tell me you really trust that guy now. I didn't say that. I said I believe him about the werewolf stuff, not the science bit. I don't know what he wants. He's a dirty line kidnapping cop, Laura. We should be careful of anything that fucker says. Well, fuck him. He's had his chance to fix this. We're getting out of here and we're gonna fix it on our own. Hey, Laura? Yeah? I saw what happened. What I did to your eye? Yeah. Is it bad? Nigga, it's That's gone. Bad. I'm so sorry. It wasn't you. I know it wasn't you. I know. But it was. We're gonna fix you, Max. Promise. I promise. Great dialogue, yo. But this shit is out of control. This is out of my hands. I know they're in there. said you scrapped an abandoned car. 
A while back, I, I worked out the rest. Shit. Why? Why'd you think, Chris? Jesus, Travis. You're still here? That's fucked up. Fucking get one of them, Chris. What's I supposed to do? What was that? Telling mom. Thank your lucky stars it wasn't silver. What's your plan? You can't keep them here forever. I'm handling it. Maybe if you'd done your job, they wouldn't have been at the camp that night. You ever think of that? If I'd have done my job, you'd all be in prison. You ever think of that? That was all Bobby and Caleb. Are those hikers? And that, that, that fucking journalist? Oh, damn it, Travis. What are we gonna do now? Whatever happened to... We're all in this together. My office. We shouldn't talk here. This nigga Dewey Max. is a werewolf, uh, bro. Max. Uh, Bitch what is ass it? niggas. Travis was just in the hall talking, the cop. So? With Chris Hackett. Was he here to let us out? No. He's the werewolf, Max. Chris Hackett is the one that bit you down on the storm shelter. Holy shit, that's... Who would have guessed? That is fucking crazy, dog. I mean, I guess, thinking about it, I could have... And yet you didn't. It all makes sense. That's why Chris's car was at the lodge that night. Travis was protecting him. That's why he followed us, and that's why he didn't kill the werewolf in the storm shelter, because it was his fucking brother. God, it's so obvious. If, if Chris was the one that bit me, then... Yeah, then that's our cure. That's how we fix you. Jesus, Laura, are we thinking the same thing? Yes, we are. We gotta kill Tomorrow Booty. we're getting out of here. I'm gonna get Travis's gun and kill Chris Hackett. <laughs> so, Caleb... Hey! Hey! His... Help her! Laura needs help! Uh. Laura! Uh. Laura, are you okay? God damn it. What the hell's going on? Laura! Easy. Easy, young fella. Give me the keys. Easy. You don't have to do this. I'm sorry, but I do. Let's just talk about it. You had your chance to talk. Keys. Okay. Okay. Don't make me shoot you. Don't make me shoot you, Travis. Now, when is the next full moon? I never knew you had it in you. Yeah, you did. Laura, please think about what you're doing. You're not so tough. Why don't you take some time? Think about why you're in here. I'm sorry.
We should grab our staff. We need silver ammo. He must have some around here. Oh, we can open that door. What is it? I thought I heard someone. It's coming from behind that door. Why can't he? He can hear it too. They did this to us. Kill them all. There's nobody in here. What the fuck? Is the ghost stories true, yo? He makes them. What is it? Shotgun shells. He loads them with silver. That's where he was last month hunting. Well, I guess I won't be needing this anymore. Hey. I just realized something. We're free. <laughs> uh, anxious, reassuring. Hell yeah, we are. That's two months we'll never get back, but for now... Two months? We're one step closer to going home. Ooh. And when is that? Tonight. Going to Hackett's quarry, and we're killing Chris Hackett. Now we got more people to kill. This is only a fucking flashback, y'all. Just think of that. Hello? Can anybody let me out the cell? <laughs> Ah, uh, you're gone. And I made my way here to camp. Left Max at the island. Seemed like the best place for him, surrounded by water and all. That's it. That's the story. And I'll jump in at the same time. Wait. The island? Like, like our island? Like the one in the lake? Yeah, why? Because Jacob, he went back there looking for Emma, and he hasn't come back yet. Neither of them has. Oh, shit. Well, if they were there, they're not there now. What's that supposed to mean? Don't make me spell it out for you. I've just come back from there, and there's one werewolf and no people. Oh, fuck. All I know is I have to do this. I have to kill Chris Hackett before it's too late. I didn't mean to say that, like, I should have reassured them. They, they're probably after fine. After you saw me at the pool, after I shot Chris, um, I went back to the island expecting Max to be back to normal. But... Oh, we got to play this out. <laughs> Fuck.
Max? <gasps> Hello? Bald-headed naked man, bro. So the werewolf I killed can't have been Chris. That wasn't a werewolf. It was Haley Hackett, Chris's daughter. Whatever I shot, that was no girl. Unless, I, I guess, it turned back after I shot it when I went to the island. Wait, so how come Max didn't kill you? I bite, show bite. What? He tried. I got away. I need to end this. We don't have much time. She got bit. Damn. That's a turn of events. Fuck. What can we do? That's the like. Let's order that. That's the lady from Insidious. So this is our new game. Smell good, don't it? Go on, take a bite. Go on. <laughs> Dumb fucking animal. What the hell is going on? Let me guess. Let me go. She's the mom. Let me fucking go. Get your hands off me. Please let me go! Okay? I didn't mean for this to happen, please! Please! Oh my god, why aren't you answering me? Oh, oh, oh! Is your is your money that you want? Cause because my dad's got money. And lots of it. Are you I mean not really, but you can get some. Probably. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> you just let me go, please! I'm so sorry! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ! That's too, Bobby.
So this whole family. All right, what, huh? What the fuck is going? On? What the? What are? What was that? Nosy little rat, aren't you? Poking your nose where it doesn't belong. Don't believe everything you hear. Anyway, here we are again. Fuck you. Let's see what you've brought me this time, shall we? I ain't bringing you shit. I got nothing no to show, nothing to see. What more do you want me to say? Find the cards or stumble around in the dark. Choice is yours. You'll be seeing me a few more times before the night's over. I look forward to that, as long as you follow the right path, of course. I don't know if I can trust you. You got a bunch of skulls behind you. You got a crow behind you. You're not to be trusted. Fuck out of here with that shit.